let's try to get the decorative cover off. Say that you should just be able to pop it right up. Plastic. The idea is you can put your mounting points on it and this hole gives us access to the programming port. The programming cable. We have a little DIN connector and it goes off to a serial to USB converter. Plugs in right here. Let's see if it fits in. Why, yes, it does. So we should be able to start programming now. So I'm now going to drill some holes for the captive nuts. There's 10 different spots to put the captive nuts in. And we're also going to drill this half inch hole for the DIN connector. On the Create website, they give you a template. And what you're supposed to do is print the template out, cut it to size, flip this over, and it would all fit together. And then you'd have marks to actually drill into your cover. The cover is slightly convex here. So what would be nice is if we had this down we can drill straight into it and not have to worry about it wobbling. However, you notice that this hole, when you flip it over, does not line up with where we want to cut out the other hole. So, we'll throw that away. It's not very useful. What we're going to do is put a little bit of support underneath here. And I'm going to take a nail. You could use a center punch or an awl or something like that. And we'll just mark this. Give us a little place to start our drill bit. Do this 10 times. for the big boy. I should note that I do have safety glasses on. So I'll draw a pilot hole. And one more. Okay, now I will clean up my mess. Now we have some holes. So 
we should be able to drill these from the back now. Our little piece of scrap wood is taking a beating. So now we'll drill these, out these holes. These are 5 30 seconds. So you could do this flat like this. Probably the easiest way. The nice thing about doing it with the face down is you don't get tear out on the other side. So this is a wood working bit. So it's going to make Right a big hole in here. I would suggest that you actually clamp this down when you're actually trying to do it yourself. But that's just me. So we have some 18.8 stainless steel press in flush captive nuts. My spiffy scissors here. real big. So you take one and you press it in. Nine more to go. Number 10, just tap it with my hammer to make sure it's in there. Good to go. So we're ready for the standoffs. We have some stainless steel standoffs here. These are two inches and they simply screw in. So the first thing is the actual standoffs themselves are a little too long. So they actually protrude up through here. So you need some spacers. And this is like every single mechanical project I've ever taken on. You order parts, you wait for the parts, and when you actually get the parts, you're not the parts you're looking for. So this is a aluminum spacer. The idea is you put the spacer on, you capture the nut, and then you screw this in, but this one is too thick and it doesn't reach all the way to the captive nut. 
So we need to go order some more parts. But in the meantime, I'm going to put these standoffs in. There's the idea is you have your standoffs and now you can mount a platform on there. So I bought a couple of different kinds of plastic for the tryout for the platform. One is this expanded PVC. So it's fairly stiff. I mean certainly really stiff enough to mount the Jetson on. Basically just stands on the standoffs, we'll drill some holes in here. Another material I wanted to try out was this ABS plastic. It's considerably stiffer. Same idea, we'll put it on top of the platform and then we'll drill some holes and screw it down. So this is one of the sacrificial pieces of poly I'm sorry, expanded polystyrene. Make a little pilot hole. Same procedure. Get us started. Let's drill full size, I think. screws and temporarily put this on. Okay, a little balancing act. And we just screw them down. So we have a little platform.